Welcome back to JFlow Education, the channel designed to meet your AP learning needs. In today's video, we will be going over Madison's Federalist number 51, a must-know document for the AP Gov exam. So let's get started. For a quick review, if you haven't watched my Federalist 10 Explained video, the Federalist Papers were a series of essays arguing for the ratification of the Constitution, the founding document that our country calls the Supreme Law of the Land. Federalist 51 explains why we have a separation of powers that is included in the Constitution. And this, of course, is your legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government. So why do we have separation of powers? Well, Madison had some fears over human nature and government. He understood that humans naturally care about their self-interest. That means that if only a few people control the government, then it is prone to misuse which could threaten the majority of the lives of the citizens that live in it. Government needed to be a way to control the flaws and evils of human nature, not be used as a tool to promote self-interest. That is where we get the famous quote, if men were angels, no government would be necessary. It's clear that we all have darker sides to our character, so government makes sure that that side is kept in check. But of course, when manipulative and narcissistic people get into office, that can backfire. So what does Madison claim to be the solution? He claims that we need a separation of powers, powers divided between the legislative, executive, and judicial, where the legislative makes the laws, executive executes the laws, and judicial interprets them. Having people only control a certain sphere of government in the form of these branches ensures that no one group gets too much power. For instance, if one of the branches were to become corrupt with a malicious leader, the other two branches can limit the influencing power protecting the citizens of that government. This limiting effect where one branch of the government stops another branch from abusing its power is called checks and balances. A good way to remember that, and Federalist 51 for that matter, is to imagine a crab bucket. Crabs have this selfish mindset where if one cannot escape from the bucket, then none of them can. This correlates to human nature because of the mindset. If my branch can't abuse my power, then none of them can. Madison states this by saying ambition must be made to counteract ambition. And on this slide, you can see some of the popular ways each branch counteracts each other. It's kind of like a really complicated game of rock, paper, scissors. Also, the combination of separation of powers and checks and balances is known as the Madisonian model because Madison came up with it and argued for it in this Federalist paper. However, after looking at those two images, one might get the misconception that each branch of government had equal influencing power, that each branch controlled one third of the government, but that is not the case. Don't get tricked because our founding fathers saw the legislative branch as the strongest. From this excerpt of Federalist 51, you can see them say, the legislative authority necessarily predominates, and for that reason, they felt that the legislative branch should be split with them dealing with some different issues and elected through different ways. This hints towards the bicameral form of government, where there is a House and Senate, and in further Federalist papers, Madison will argue for just that. Also, it's important to note that the House and the Senate were elected through different ways up until the 17th Amendment was passed in 1913. Before that amendment was passed, the House went by popular vote and the Senate went by state legislators electing specific people. But now both houses go by popular vote. In conclusion, today we talked about Federalist 51. We reviewed that the Federalist Papers were created to support the ratification of the Constitution and number 51 argues for why we need three branches. Madison feared that people were selfish by nature, stating his famous, if men were angels, quote. To solve this issue of selfish people getting too much power, he devised a plan of separation of powers with the three branches, where each branch kept each other in check through checks and balances. Ambition made to counteract ambition. Even though there are three branches, however, they do not have equal split power. The legislative has the most, and for that reason, Madison hints at splitting that up as well between a House and a Senate. All right, that's all I had for you all in today's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, make sure to follow your dreams, chase your ambitions, stay humble, and peace out.